Tonight is a celebration of my beautiful daughter and Joe Boston, my son-in-law. Wow. It's an honor. <laughs> My family, my friends, and loved ones here tonight. Uh, Joe, the moment I saw you, I was very impressed with your kind and wonderful personality. And seeing my daughter happy and smiling made me super happy and pleased. I would like to thank Poston family, Paula, and Skip for being an angel. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's made a day. Yeah. That's the girl. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
you. While we're here, <laughs> thank you to everyone that is here and not there. Oh, sorry, my mother. There is really not much else to say, but thank you to Sandy and Ruth for giving us support in times where we really needed it. Thank you, Adam and Adriana, who have been there for Jackie and me every time we've had a near on breakdown. <laughs> to my dad, yeah. <laughs> Francesca's passport and locking her in a castle, you have welcomed my sister 
her with open eyes, for which I am forever grateful. <laughs> Someone got it. Before I, <laughs> before I go, this is the part where I impart some pearls of wisdom on a lasting marriage. Because I'm single, so obviously I'm qualified. <laughs> uh, first, and I cannot emphasize this enough, go to therapy. <laughs> I swear on that vegan wedding cake, you will thank me. <laughs> Second, don't take each other for granted. Once you've signed the dotted line, it can feel like you don't have to make an effort anymore. That's not true. Trying is great. <laughs> Be nice. Take turns taking out the rubbish. Let him hold the remote. <laughs> Remember, there are 7.9 billion people on this planet, and you've managed to find each other. So I think now's a good time to wrap up this speech because my feet, uh, my feet are starting to hurt. <laughs> so I'd like everyone to raise a glass to the new Assemi Boston to making every day count. <laughs> Today to celebrate with the pair of you. Not everyone could have done what you've done, and believe it or not, I had hair before they started playing this wedding. And who would have thought? Who would have thought standing in front of you today would have looked exactly like my dad? <laughs> Topic of looking absolutely stunning. Thank you. I'd like to take a moment to appreciate how absolutely breathtaking Francesca looks today. Yes! Patience and understanding is something all of us could do at various points in our lives. And I just want you to keep doing you forever. Because you make the world a better place for just being you. I want you all to raise a glass and thank you for doing you for me. Francesca. <laughs> I 
could be happier to be standing up here as your older brother and talk about the man you've become because it allows me to talk about the man you were. <laughs> <laughs> He's, uh, he's always been the younger brother, and that's obvious because you know, that's how time works. So, yeah, he's a bit genius to work that one out. Uh, but by that, I mean he's always been what we call Baby Joe, and everyone used to call him that. He, was, he wasn't just young, he was younger than this year, and he was also quite, he was just young. He just had an angelic voice, he had a baby face. You know. uh, growing up, uh, he was even late to the game and talking. Uh, to the point where he wouldn't even talk when he wanted to and would just bang his head on the floor. <laughs> when he was either angry or upset, like, and you can all agree. Yeah, you can all agree, it's done, it's done, you know? <laughs> uh, as kids, we fought quite a lot. It wasn't like, you know, tussling until Charlie gave us a fiver to actually fight. <laughs> In the back room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Who was no, the no comment, Your Honour. <laughs> uh, but it was bickering. It was a lot of bickering. You know, and Mum hated us, I think, for all that. You know. Um, but it was out of love, I think, or just because I disliked you. I don't know what time it was. I was a bit of a dick. I would admit that. You know? um, and the thing is, I think Joe. Would, the reason I bring it up is because uh, uh, Joe would be the person that would sit quietly in the room and take in everything that goes on around him. Right. And uh, there were many a times when I think I would get in trouble more than you, and I think I still do quite often. You know, the other sibling tends to get, uh, tends, get to get, tends to get the pain. <laughs> so you get child, you get child abuse services now. <laughs> uh, and the fact is, you, uh, the reason I bring that up is because you are someone that sits back and takes in on what's around you to make the best decision possible. And that's gone through everything. I think people have not taking you for granted, and not taking you seriously. <coughs> you've, you've quietly slid under the radar, and you've achieved great things just by being, and just by taking everything around you. And that is only evident of everything you've done here today, you know, from what you've achieved at university, to what you've achieved going to America, and you've got big dreams, but you work hard on those dreams, even if people don't think you can achieve it. And I want to tell you right here in front of all these people, you probably already know anyway, so it's fine, right? You know? But I want you to know from my mouth that I couldn't be proud of you as an old brother. I could be proud of you as the best man. You are a constant source of inspiration for me and I think for a lot of people in this room. And, well, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> and I want nothing but happiness for the pair of you. You clearly have worked hard at this, you will keep working hard at this because it means something. And I just want everyone to raise a glass and cheers for that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.